Having lunch outside is a great idea, Bill. I'm sure Tricky the Troll will like it too. And whenever Tricky comes over, we can be sure there'll be an adventure. And today's adventure's called Chocolate Pudding. Lunch is ready, Bill, but Tricky isn't. He should be here by now. Hold on, Jill. I think I see someone. You're right, Corky. I hope it's Tricky. It is, Bill. There's no one else who looks like that. How gay is it, Bill? What do you know, Corky? Great to see you, Tricky. You've come just in time. Lunch is about to be served. I can't wait. You'll love this, Tricky. Vegetable soup. Ah! Vegetables! Delicious? Scrumptious? No, it's horrible! Horrible? horrible. Don't you like vegetables? I can take them or leave them, but mostly I leave them. But the soup's good for you, Tricky. And very tasty. I suppose so. Not too much, though. We have a special treat for you, too. After the soup, we have chocolate pudding.
delicious cheese and tomato. But it tastes just like chocolate. It was that naughty Tricky the Troll. He did something to them. Remember what Tricky said, Bill? How fantastic it would be if everything tasted like chocolate? And now, it does. But I don't like eating a lot of chocolate. Neither do I, Mrs Whistlehead. No, Timmy, you'll get a tummy ache. We've got to find Tricky and stop him. Could we have more sandwiches? Take as many as you like. Anything to stop Timmy from eating them. I'd much prefer a carrot. Let's catch up to Tricky. Tricky must have used fairy dust to make everything taste like chocolate. You're not cookie. The sheep's grass. And those sandwiches. Wonderful sandwiches. Oh no, even my carrot tastes like chocolate. Bye everybody, it's Ricky. We've been looking for you. Yeah, looking. You've got to stop making everything taste like chocolate pudding. Yummy chocolate. I don't want to stop. Everyone loves things tasting like chocolate. You've been using fairy dust. It's always trouble when you use fairy dust. Not this time. I'm a hero. I'm not stopping until everything tastes like chocolate pudding. Tricky, this is terrible. It is terrible, Corky. We're out of sandwiches. Back to Mrs. Whistlehead. Bill, Ned. Oh, no. They can't stop eating either. I did warn you, Timmy. Mrs. Whistlehead? Sandwiches! What's wrong with Timmy now, Mrs. Whistlehead? He's eaten too many sandwiches and he has a terrible tummy ache. You've got to stop too, Bill, or else you'll get a tummy ache. Too late. I've already got one, Corky. So have I. Tummy ache. You keep an eye on everyone, Mrs. Whistlehead. I'll be back soon. Oh, dear. The way Tricky was going, he should be near the pear trees. I hope I can find him or everything in the world's going to taste like chocolate. How about that? Pear trees? Pears are very nice, but I know something even nicer. Pears that taste like chocolate. I knew you'd be here, Tricky. I know what you want, Corky, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not stopping until everything tastes like chocolate. But Tricky, everyone is becoming sick. You can't get sick because of chocolate. If you don't believe me, just eat some of these pears. I can eat as many as you pick. <laughs> because they're just like chocolate. <laughs> Tasty! <laughs> That was your tummy telling you to stop eating. But I can't. It's too delicious. <laughs> You're going to be sorry. <laughs> My tummy doesn't feel so good. See what I mean now, Tricky? I do, Corky. You need to make everything taste normal again. I will. I will. Just, just take my pears away from me. Hop on my back, Tricky. <laughs> Now let's fix this problem. I never want to taste chocolate again. I found Tricky, Mrs. Whistlehead. Do something, Tricky. We want our food to taste normal again. Leave it to me, Mrs. Whistlehead. Chocolate, chocolate, we will eat. And we have a special treat. These sandwiches taste like cheese and tomato again. You did it, Tricky. Thanks. Now we can all relax. No, we can't. There's still Maisie and the sheep to help. <laughs> You've eaten too much. I'll stop now. <laughs> the grass is back to being plain old grass. What about Maisie? Maisie wasn't eating. She was just very grumpy. That's funny. I made her food taste like chocolate too. Mm. Poor Maisie must be so hungry. She'll be able to eat soon. Watch this, Maisie. Mm. Does that look better, Maisie? You 
You see, Tricky, not everyone likes chocolate. Poor Maisie can't stand it at all. Sorry, Maisie. Now, there's only one last thing that tastes like chocolate. What's it like, Corky? It's delicious, Bill. It tastes just like vegetable soup should taste. I dare! Thanks, Tricky! It's Corky we should all thank. You were right, Corky. If everything tastes like chocolate, it isn't special anymore. And pudding should always be special. I couldn't agree more. We should pack up the lunch table, Bill. Right, Corky. Tricky. Oh, haven't you had enough for one day? I can't help it. I want chocolate pudding. <laughs> it's just like we said, Bill. Whenever Tricky comes over, there's always an adventure. <laughs> and you're right, Corky. You're right. Bill and his best friend Corky. See you again. Good night.